The Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle-earth, one of the best RTS games in the world, abandoned long time ago but never forgotten, got a massive fan-made update. Allow me to introduce you the patch 2.22 and let us compare it directly with the previously outdated versions of the game. The patch 2.22 comes with a launcher that allows you to install the full game with one single click and update it to the most recent patch as well as running the most popular mods like the HD Edition and the Shadow and Flame directly through your launcher. Let us start off with the visual changes of the game. The zoom of the game got improved. The castles of each faction got a facelift. Isengard has now the Orfang as Citadel and Mordor the Baradur. New HD portraits for every single hero. Proper description of each ability, powerpoint and buildings with informations like the recharge time, build time and recruit time. New sound effects for summons like the Elven Allies. That is no awkward. Rohan allies. Rohan will answer. Master the Rohirrim. Eagle alliance. Eagles. The eagles are coming. Ants allies. And also the call the heart. New effects for hero abilities like the Easter Light of Gandalf, the warning arrow of Faramir, the screech of the Nazgûl and the Witch King, the Elven Wood. as well as the Tainted Land. Futures that never existed before is the new battle stands for units, summons and heroes, which will allow you to control your units much much easier. You want them to automatically engage on the nearby enemy units, just activate the aggressive stance. You want them to do nothing automatically, enable the hold ground stance. Improved fear effects. In 1.06, you could simply buy banner carry upgrade on your units and shut down effects like the screech from the Nazgûs, Horn of Gondor from Boromir, Elendil from Aragorn. In the patch 2.22, units have to be at least level 3 to be immune to fear, which will make more room for heroes like Boromir in your gameplay. And the ability to sell unwanted units to your castles, Citadel. New improved AI for more challenging single player experience. Improved balance for each faction and nerf to the ultimate summons like the Army of the Red and the Balrog. More unique maps which were never existing before in Battle for Middle Earth 1. Faster gameplay with less recruit and build time, so more time is left to fight your opponent. More team play possibilities with better synergy between the factions. You can now use the industry power point of Isengard or Mordor on the farms and blacksmiths of your allies. What are you waiting for? Download the launcher and get yourself the best patch ever made for Battle for Middle Earth 1 with one single click. And if you should need any help during the installation or you want to connect with other BFME players for multiplayer matches, make sure to join the most active BFME Discord. You can find the link in the video description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck and also stay beyond standards. Peace out. The new power is rising. Its victory is at hand.